hello everyone welcome back on another tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to see how to create a multiple ring buffer in ArcGIS Pro in the previous video we have seen how to create a single ring buffer in ArcGIS Pro so this is continuity of that video so first go to the option view and select geo processing tool so here type in multiple ring buffer and search for the tool you can see the result at the top now click and open this tool so you can see here uh, you can three see the three features one is water tanks location of water tanks in the study area uh, another one is uh, tide line this is represented in line feature high tide line and uh, drainage that is being represented in polygon features so we are going to see how to create multiple ring buffer using point line and polygon geoprocessing tool yeah now i am going to input the water tank location that is represented in the point okay now in order to save it to a particular location use this browse option so i have chosen one folder here give a name for it and save it so I have given a name for it water tank MRB multiple ring buffer so I am going to save it ok after doing it you can see there is another option called as distance so here we are going to choose the buffer distance from this point what will be the distance so I am going to give uh, before that let us uh, set the distance unit so I am going to use meters in this case because my study area is smaller in size so I'm going to use meters and it also changes based on our requirements some may require the buffer to be in kilometers or in miles so it is based on your analysis so now I'm going to choose the now I have chosen the distance units now I'm going to give the distance so the first buffer will be 100 meters from this point 100 meters will be created a buffer like this will be created okay so now let us add another because this is a multiple ring buffer so the next is 300 meters from the point 300 meters another buffer will be created next let me add another buffer this is 500 meter buffer from the point it will be around 500 meters so you can see the first ring will be 100 meters second is 300 and the fifth will be 500 sorry the third will be 500 now you can see non overlapping and uh, overlapping if you choose overlapping for example if there is a buffer over here it will be overlay it will be overlay on this top of this buffer we are going to see it how it works overlapping click on run now you can see here the buffer has been created let us measure the distance from the center and see how it is so the first from the center the first uh, buffer what we have chosen is 100 meters you can see here and after that you can see the second buffer what we have chosen 300 meters from the center the second buffer is 300 meters and from the center the third buffer is what we have set is 500 meters now you can see how it has come up so like this you can create buffer if I overlay it on the area you can find so the buffer the settlements inside the 100 meter buffer will have a quick accessibility to the waters followed by the next buffer and the third buffer you can see the people might not be that much uh, comfortable accessing the water and you can see some area doesn't have any uh, water access so that will be in far away so that location we can add some more water tanks so you can see here this is the overlapping buffer this buffer is overlaid on the top of this buffer you can have have a view of it this buffer is being top of this one if you choose non overlapping we choose non-overlapping 
let us see how the results is click on run and let me remove the previous buffer and you can see how it is this is called as non overlapping buffer you can work it and uh, you can explore the options available so now let us prepare another buffer geo processing so this time we are going to use the line features high tight line okay and uh, let me change the output location coastal regulation zone crz multiple ring buffer let me save it okay so now we are going to assign the distance first 200 meter is no development zone so next is 500 meters same thing if you didn't understand it same procedure first you can add like this and set the units distance units i am choosing meters so the first from this line is 200 meter buffer from here 200 meter and after that i am going to set 500 meters from this line 500 meters and finally i am going to set 1000 meters this is just for an example 1000 meters okay now you can choose the meters uh, distance units i am choosing meters and buffer distance field name overlapping now let me run and let us see the result so you can see here the buffer has been created from this line you can see first 100 meters first 100 meter sorry 200 meters we have created a buffer and next comes it should not be measured like this let me do it like this yeah measure distance from this line 200 meters is the first buffer and next is 500 meters so measuring this uh, kind of uh, lines is a bit uh, tricky okay 500 meters and next is 1000 meters okay so like this you can create multiple ring buffer for line let us see how to create it for polygon your processing so here let me put on the polygon that is a drainage river canal and let me change the output location and give a name for it save it here let us assign some distance based on the drainage maybe flood risk okay so first will be 20 meters next is 50 meters and after that 100 meters so this is in case of flood the vulnerable regions can be identified using this multiple ring buffer okay So we have chosen the units. Okay, now let us run and see the output. Okay, now let me zoom in and you can find the first buffer, which is 50 meters. Second is sorry, first is 20 meters, second is 50 meters, and third is 100 meter buffer from this drainage so you can identify the vulnerable regions and uh, you can vacate those uh, people like this you can do so if you have any other doubts on this you can ask in the comment section so if you look at this uh, attribute table of this buffer you can see the distance let us uh, select the distance 
100 meters you can see you can also calculate area using this option so thanks for watching please do give us a like and subscribe to the channel goodbye